So this week's tip of the week is how to create tag clouds for quick links. And Dave, you decided that this would be uh, good today because we're seeing people ask about this uh, not only in the Facebook group, but we're getting some support inquiries on how to create like links to popular pages on a site, right? Correct. Yeah. Tag clouds were in their original form were pretty popular probably close to a decade ago now, mainly on WordPress sites where you basically had the most common keywords that appeared on a website displayed in a sidebar widget or module. So we've kind of modernized that idea a little bit and we'll walk everybody through how to get that going on your Brilliant Directory site in this presentation. Awesome. Yeah, I think it's semi self-explanatory, but we can dive uh, right into it here. So Dave, tell us what is a tag cloud if you haven't already explained it. Yeah, so in its simplest form, it's a cluster of web links to related internal pages of your website. So most commonly, you'll see a tag cloud either on a individual content page or on a search result page on a website. And the tags or the keywords within this cluster uh, will typically be related to whatever that page or search is regarding. Yeah, and actually you brought up a good point about tag clouds being used for quite some time. They do have a bit of, of SEO value whereby you're internally linking to your most popular pages and, and that kind of helps boost their, their value on your site. But for a while they were being overused and overplayed. You know, people were using tag clouds with, you know, hundreds of keywords in them and linking to them. In my opinion, the benefit of a tag cloud now, it does have that small uh, value for SEO because you'll be linking to your most popular pages and that lets Google know that those pages are important. But I think it's the convenience factor that it adds uh, for your members by providing them with useful links that are not necessarily in your main menu, but while they're browsing around your site and you provide them with ways to access additional uh, related content on your site. And that just creates a better overall experience. And uh, we can talk about some more of those benefits now as well. Yeah, you bring up a good point in that traditionally the tag clouds, while they were overused, they were often overlooked as well simply because they just had a bunch of generic keywords in there that it didn't entice people to click on the individual keywords to see the related contents at all. And so the use that we'll be showing in this presentation shows how it can be modernized and more used as an ease of use tool for your website's visitors while also providing that additional SEO benefit. So going into the benefits of tag clouds, uh, as we discussed, they do increase the page views and time that visitors spend on your website because you're providing them with additional useful related pages on your site that they may be uh, inclined to go to. That goes into providing visitors with access to those quick links. So as Jason mentioned, you maybe you don't want to fill your main menu with a whole bunch of kind of unrelated links, although many of them may be important to your website users, you can include those in these related tag clouds that we'll be showing in just a moment. And in that, you can showcase your best pages. And as we've discussed already, this all adds some SEO value, whereby you are internally linking to other pages on your site. And, and talking about you know providing visitors with access to quick links and showcasing your, your best pages, here are some popular tag cloud use cases, at least with your membership or directory website. In the search results or on a post page, you may want to link to common keywords that are searched. Um, and you could create different tag cloud clusters uh, for different types of content. So you might have a tag cloud just for your blog posts. You could have tag clouds for uh, member searches whether that be location searches or common categories, your most popular categories that are searched. And then you may not want to link just to search results pages, but uh, maybe just some of your best content or related pages for a specific type of content on your site. So when it comes to the tag clouds and what the cluster of, of links are for, um, you can decide what's best for your website and it's gonna provide the best experience for your website visitors. All right, I guess we should just jump into the uh, the fun part here, of how to create a tag cloud on your website. I'll just read through this real quick and then I'll show you how we can make a new one live. Uh, so basically you're gonna use the menu manager for this and you can create a new menu. Feel free to give it a, a nickname and a system name that represents the tag cloud for yourself. And the key here is in the CSS class, we're gonna add tag hyphen cloud. 
Uh, that's going to style the links accordingly, so you really don't have to uh, mess around with too much uh, code or anything like that. Uh, you're just letting the system know that this menu is going to be for Tag Cloud links. Then when you launch your new menu, just go ahead and add the pages and, and the links to those pages. And then just like any menu, you can go ahead and paste the short code menu equals menu name wherever you want that Tag Cloud to be displayed. So let's take a quick look and see how it's done. We have a couple examples for you and we'll build one from scratch as well. So Dave, I just, uh, I built a tag cloud on this uh, test site here and we can see, I kind of put this at the top of the member search results pages. It says uh, popular searches here and these don't really link anywhere. Could, these could be city names, these could be categories, but the idea here is that we're gonna learn how to create these links and then place them in different places around the site. Yeah, and this goes into the idea of modernizing the tag cloud a little bit, making it more useful, limiting the number of keywords or tags in this cluster and also placing it in a more useful position rather than having just a bunch of individual, possibly unrelated tags jumbled together, placed in, in the sidebar widget. Absolutely. I think here it's it's providing the visitor with convenience, not overwhelming them with options. All right, so um, let's go start at the dashboard here. And where we want to go is the menu manager. And let me show you this first one that I made. It's called Tag Cloud. So what we've done is we we put the links that we want. In this case, I'm just keyword one, two, three, four, all the way through seven. I'm just linking to the home page in this example. But of course, you can link these to whatever pages you want on your site. And it's nice to cluster them so they're related based on the content uh, that your person is looking at. In the actions drop down here, if we click on edit menu, we can see that the nickname is tag cloud, the system name is tag underscore cloud, and the menu CSS class is tag hyphen cloud. This one is the most important, the CSS, the menu name and the system name, you can just nickname them based on the type of cluster you're creating. Maybe it's like blog post links or whatever you want. And then uh, let me show you where I place this. So here's the menu name tag cloud. In this case, I wanted to put it at the top of the member search results. So I went to edit post settings and I want to edit the member listings one and search results design. And basically what I did is I just put menu equals tag cloud um, right at the top there. I just put some extra spaces. These extra spaces don't matter. And I just did menu equals tag cloud. And that's how it's showing at the top of the member search result pages. But let's have some fun. Let's create a new one, Dave. And, uh, and then go through the process of placing it uh, in the sidebar. So let's create a new menu. I'm gonna call this uh, blog categories tag cloud. And I'll system name, I'll just call it uh, blog cloud. Use an underscore here. And then all I have to do is put tag cloud here. And it should be right down here. So let's actually get some of the links to the blog category. So if you don't know how to link to the different categories, for example, for the blogs, just do a search yourself and hit search. And that's basically the search URL to get to one of your categories. I'll just copy the URL and we'll do category one. And then I'll just clone this menu. Clone it two times, one more time. Okay, great. So the category one, two. All right, so we created three links here and we'll save it. Now, if you wanted to put this in the sidebar, you'd have to go to the sidebar manager, but small but here, and let's say we want to do it on the post single page. The sidebar manager, you can only choose to put widgets in the sidebar. So if we wanted to put the, the menu here of the tag cloud in a sidebar, just one extra step here. We would go to the widget manager, create a new widget, and just paste the menu equals menu equals blog cloud and just give the widget a nickname. So blog tag cloud. Because now that this menu's in the widget, I could put the widget in the sidebar and everything should fall into place nicely here. So let's just uh, save this. And if we come back to the sidebar manager and refresh the page, should be able to search for blog tag cloud. It's now an available widget. It's a custom widget I created. Go ahead and I'll just put it at the top of the page here. Perfect. 
And let's go ahead, Dave, and let's look at uh, sidebar of a blog post. Perfect. So you can see here it's just links. And that's exactly what it should be. Now, if we wanted to give it like a background color, like one of these buttons, let's show you guys how to do that now. So what you can do is in your design settings, and I have this really fun article here, we're all familiar with the default button colors that come with your site. So you can choose any one of these. I would recommend using one of these because they will match the theme of your site. And you can just assign them to each link. So you can do like the primary button color, the info, the success. And all you would have to do is add this to the CSS class. It's really fun and easy to do. In my uh, design settings, button danger is actually representing a red color, I believe. Uh, so what we can do is the menu links, we could just toggle it open. And over here where it says CSS class, just copy button danger, BTN danger. And I'm going to share that article with everyone. Uh, so now if we refresh this here, we have red buttons here. Uh, now, Dave, we should add a title to this so people know what these are, right? Correct. Something along the lines of related searches or keywords, something like that. Perfect. So we could just add a new link here. Let's just call it popular searches, popular blog topics, and we'll just move this to the top and we'll save the changes. Perfect. What's really cool also is collapses itself. So that's really nice as well. And again, from higher level people, you can get really wild and crazy with the CSS stuff. For example, if you wanted the links to break under the title, all we would need to do here in the LI class is in the CSS class is BTN block. It makes it a full block. Go ahead and save that. So then you can have popular blog topics here. And here are your quick links. I think sidebar is the most popular place to potentially put these. And of course, you can create different sidebars for your different types of posts. So if you have blog sidebars or video sidebars or event sidebars, and then you can make the respective uh, tag cloud links for uh, that post type. And of course, your member search results also. So if you just do follow a few steps with a little bit of the upfront work to figure out where you want to place tag clouds, and then just going through the steps to add them there, you can add a lot of a lot more convenience for your website visitors and really decorate your site and show your site to your visitors that it, that it does have different sections that may, they may have not yet explored. And uh, yeah, just some common places to, to display the tag clouds, uh, sidebars above and below search results and anywhere else you feel that it'll add value for the website's visitor experience.